When I finally get better, we can live together, can't we? That's why it's important that you get better soon. Because mm. then, you and I can be together in real life, just the way we are in the world. Once, there used to be a goddess statue here. A goddess? A goddess that exists in the world. Then maybe I'll ask the goddess if she would have mercy on me and cure me. So what is the goddess's name? Her name is... Aura. The key of twilight. The ultimate AI. Morgana Factor. And Harold Hurick. So, what song shall we play today? To awaken the sleeping beauty. Aina. As powerful as it was, the Avatar's data drain could not take Ida from you. Your wound was too deep. And the treatment too late. Shut up! You dare lay your filthy hands on my Ina? Yes, that's right. I'm the one who made your sister a lost one. Be still a little longer. Just a little longer. I'll say, oh, there's no more time. I am. I don't will. The epitaph of twilight. The online game, The World Revision 2. It has become a lawless land where PCs who prey on others, or PKs as they are known, roam freely throughout the land. In order to save the Komatoshino, Haseo, the PC who holds the title Terror of Death, pursued a mysterious PK named Triage and finally destroyed him. However, this resulted in the rise of an abnormal phenomenon known as Ida. Only Haseo and the other Epitaph users who control the unknown power of avatars are able to exterminate Ida. Having ascertained that Ida had caused a sudden change in Sirius, the Emperor of the Holy Palace, Haseo traveled to the arena accompanied by former Emperor Alcade. Through many difficult battles, Haseo grew in skill and strength. However, a terrible price for this was paid when Alcade became comatose as well. 
Following the advice left by Alcaid, Haseo relied on Endrance's strength to finally defeat Sirius. Yet, the reappearance of Triage, thought long ago defeated, brought only more uncertainty. In the midst of that, Sakaki, second unit leader of the Moon Tree Guild, began a revolt and seized control of the guild's headquarters. And so, in a throne room, warped by Ida's power, Haseo battled Adelie, a member of the Moon Tree Guild, and released her from Ida's control. After that, Haseo pursued the fleeing Sakaki and defeated him. Only to discover the identity of the true culprit who had been pulling the strings. Ovan. Respected leader of the Twilight Brigade, the legendary guild of which Haseo was once a member. And the man who thus far has led him to every one of his battles. However, once Ovan's left arm became exposed for all to see, Haseo understood everything. It was him all along. He was the one who attacked Shino. He was the true triage. Become stronger, Haseo. You know I became a PKK to track down Triage, the PK that took out Shino. In the beginning, I was certain that the guy I saw back then was him. But the person who PKed Shino. The one who was Triage. Was you. You had Triage's Ida sealed in your left arm the whole time, Ovan. You knew everything. You hurt Shino, and then manipulated me. Have you been using me? Since the first moment we met? I'm such a damn fool. You want me to become stronger? What is it you want me to do? What are you planning? I just don't get it. Ovan! I won't run from this! And... I will finish this once and for all! Ovan. Why would he refuse help from CC Corp? Or from me for that matter, if Ida was inside of him? Why would he place all of the world in such terrible danger? There's a high probability that Ida has already spread outside of the world. If Ida can amplify people's emotions, then it could control the entire population like a cult leader or tyrannical dictator. There will be widespread panic.
what? PC Yaya. Your access to the Serpent of the Lord has just been terminated. What? Alright, I'd explain what's going on. So, I complete what I start. Of course, I'm an idiot who took how many years to complete what I start, but I had to complete it. Nonetheless. <laughs> Let me put it this way. We waited for it, should not do that. We waited for it to get prettier. <laughs> That's one excuse for it, I suppose. Anyway. I should probably explain that seeing as how this has been out for long enough now, we all know what I'm like, so I would have easily hit the max level cap by now, and in fact I did, on the emulator. So as such, we have started this mode, or this game rather, on what they call cheat mode. Which means that I'm max level already and have all the gear that I already got in the emulator. As such, everything's all sorted and I do not need to worry about having to grind when I have such little time in which I can record. Which comes in rather handy. Anyway. For what has happened so far. I was expecting it to do a better job at summarizing what has happened so far, but it hasn't. So I will explain. Haseo, the terror of death, got his level reset. I'm trying to see if there's images here. Got his level reset by the PK Care, known as Triage. Hence why he spent. Uh, that's the demo. Hence why he spent the vast majority of the first game hunting down to try and kill Triage. Only for him to succeed in doing so and. Them to find out that Ida was a bigger problem than they thought. Blah, 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 blah. Second game, they brought back Triage and his two new companions, who were actually forms of Ida. That was kind of weird. Only for him to finally work out that the true Triage, the real one that killed his girlfriend, was in fact Ovan. Pretty much his rather figure at this point. And uh, we continue off from round about there. Might have botched a few of the details. If I'm wrong, Look at the previous playthroughs and don't complain about the quality. <laughs> that should be roughly right. Anyway, we seem to have messages. Blah 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 blah. Hello, I say once again, it is I, your unseen ally. Did you read my previous mail? I hope you do not mind me contacting you again. There is something I must inform you about. Have you experienced with Avatar Awakening yet? As I informed you of earlier, you can obtain particles known as virus cores by using this ability. As you are an Epifab user, these cores can be used to amplify your combat capabilities. By using virus cores, you can cause the weapons you received in the Great Temple of Car Carelian Meb, the Lost Weapons as you know them, to grow. I have sent the Lost Weapons back to their rightful owners. Which basically means all the work I did grinding for cores in the previous game was a waste of my fucking time. Anyway. Bad, 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 bad. All I will give you now is information. I bid you well until we meet again, and I wish you good luck in your battles. The lost weapons are growing. I never thought this was a secret. There was this secret to them. And what am I supposed to do with virus cores? I can get from Avatar Awakening? Probably should have read the one I did it first, you know, in the way your fucking email system works, but eh, whatever. Greetings, Kaseo. I cannot reveal my name for certain reasons, but think of me as your unseen ally, as you saw earlier. I'm deeply indebted by the power of the avatar hidden in your player character, and your determined efforts to ho take hold of that power. I have taken the liberty of modifying and upgrading your PC's Divine Awakening command, and now you can perform something known as an Avatar Awakening. You may use this command to obtain items called Virus Cores from normal monsters. There is only one point I wish to you to be aware of. This ability must borrow strength from your party in order to activate, and therefore you cannot use it if unless you're in a three-person party. I would be most pleased this ability serves you well in your travels, blah de blah 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 usual nonsense. So they've added a new function into the game for Epitaph users. Which sounds kind of weird if you think about it. Good afternoon, Haseo. Due to recent events, Moontree has ceased activities. Many members have left our group, and at this point, only Kaede and the remaining members of B are backing Selkova. Moontree's 
headquarters have been closed off, our area data is damaged, and we have had our guild privileges revoked as punishment for legally modifying the area. That wasn't necessarily their fault, but we'll just play Sakaki for that one. Uh, yeah, he's a psychopath. He has the same voice actor as Wizzy's face, Shexel and Godier. The other one I kept saying was a Bond build. That asshole. Uh, as such, he's just as batshit crazy, so we enjoy kicking him off a bridge. Literally did. <laughs> That's how he died. Now then, Moon Tree was a very important place to me. I met all sorts of people and learned a lot there. It was there that I found a reason to live. If not for Moon Tree, I doubt I would have met you. So I can't believe things have ended up this way, and I feel that like my heart has gone empty. I'm so very, very sad. I wonder if I ever see Mellow Grunty again. And as I thought. Adelie, are you alone worrying again? Don't get lost in your own difficulties. Your problems are also my, or rather, all of our problems. Dear Asayo, thank you for your regular patronage of the world. This is the usual CG core bollocks that you get as an email. It's the thank you for playing our game and everything. We hope you're enjoying it. That's all a spiel. Anyway, in recognition of your championship victory at the Holy Palace Arena, we grant you the following privileges. Advanced guild for at home at Breg Epona. Never heard of that one. The advanced guild at home is located at the very back of Bregapona's lower town. However, please be aware that you are no longer able to use the intermediate guild at home at Del Donna. Your alchemy level experience has expanded to 20, meaning I alchemize equipment with a difference in level up to 20. This applies to both the alchemy factor and the blackboard. Please head to your new at home and speak to your administrative NPC before using these features. Let's head to the Sigma server for Canard's advanced at home in Bregapona. Dear Zayo, thank you for regular patronage, blah 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 you now can go to Bregipona. And thank you for regular patronage, please be aware that the enrollment for the following campaigns have ended. Stray Gr Mecha Grunty, Chim, sorry, Stray Mecha Grunty, Chim Kicker, Lucky Data Collection, Pikmin's Models, Chase the Bounty, Highway Master, thank you for playing. I have trophies for all of these already, so we don't have to worry about that. Actually, those are the trophies I've got already. What I should point out is because we're on cheat mode, everybody loves me! <laughs> Literally. <laughs> to be honest, I do have clear data from the second game that I could port into the third. It would just the only problem is it would take a while to grind to level up again because it's an old game. The experience is pretty lucky. So yeah. So instead, we're gonna slightly cheat because that way you can enjoy the story I have a lot faster than having to wait three months for me to record it all, which makes life easier for me too. So we'll just do that. Let's head to the Sigma server for Canard's advanced at home in Break Epona. Avatar Awakening has been added to the Awakening on the main menu. By continuing to use Avatar Awakening, you can power up to maximum 10. Additionally, due to this upgrade, you have gained a new lost weapon feature. Please check the lost weapons on the main menu for further details. Lost weapons have been added to the main menu. Also, Avatar. Yep, yeah, we do. They keep drilling. Avatar Awakening. Avatar Awakening. Avatar. I get it. Which is in here. <laughs> With the third format, it's possible to assign arms from all weapons to the skill trigger. It's called the multi-trigger. Assigning arms is done using the same method as assigning arts in the skill trigger. When using arts from the multi-trigger, the weapon that was target that the targeted enemy is weak to will blink. So in theory, I can use one sec gets off of that. All different types of skills. Let's try that one. And try strike. Hmm. Demon's claw. Yeah. And last one, it really sucks that the actual like buster blade weapon you get like two of it. Yay, <laughs> Probably because you're not maybe using them too. Now the lost weapons, there you go. In this menu you can check the growth of your lost weapon. That it. it just doesn't really tell me much. <laughs> I've got 900 virus cores, how do I use them? I don't know. <laughs> uh, awakening. Avatar awakening is added to the list, you need to part your free. Yeah, I get it, shut up. Stop it! Alright, we're on Avatar Awakening now. It used to be something else, they just changed the name and upgraded it a wee bit. Use your Avatar's power to perform Drain Arc and use a Well, yeah. <clears throat> what we should do, however, is check our equipment. Some weapon types do a little more or less damage. You do, I get it! Wish you could your allies' equipment, so that's new. Main weapon, they did, did, did. Okay, what we got? I don't know what the waste pen long is. Uh, Kicking Death, now that is the seal's main weapon. It's also not giving me that much better stuff. And Wrathbringer. I don't find it's giving me the plot one, so I'm guessing it means they gave me the Fire Sword too, yeah. These are the ones I got given during the story, so they kinda had to give you. 
I'm curious what that one is. <laughs> uh, but from that, we should be good. Now, all of that may seem a bit random and, to be honest, rather pointless, but it does come in handy. Anyway, it wants us to go to Bragipona. This place looks like I have a lot different than the other two. Okay, what I should say is, you know that Bickleman's quest that was on a bit where the actual quest itself is to get as many, uh, what is it, flyers I think it was, to NPCs, but you can't get to the same NPCs twice. Man, is that a chore. It's a lot better in this one though, because you get an item that tells you if you're going to them or not. That makes life a bit easier, but still. I'm guessing they can still do shops and stuff here, right? That's the quest shop, so I'll walk past the same shop, like an update. I don't need to bother going in the equipment shop any time this century, because we're pretty godlike at this point. Uh, oh yeah. I need to fix my bag. <laughs> I really need to fix my bag. I got better stuff than this. This is the default bag. It's not bad, but it's no great. So we shall fix it as soon as we can. Although it's not like you're really going to use it, so I don't know. We shall see. You know, thanks to you, we can use the advanced at home. Why don't you go and try talking to the Grunty? Yeah, there might be some kind of event or something. How <sighs> about high gold level privileges? Half off alchemy and gold expansion. Added to the expansion facility menu. GP is required for our expansion. Also, as a privilege of being a high level guild master, you've obtained greeting cards. You already had greeting cards, but I've obtained nothing. But whatever. Oink. Haseo, you're slower than a tortoise with a foot egg. Oink. Oink. Man, his oinking is annoying. Guild update procedures are complete. Oink. I always considered you a little nose hair. Oink. Never thought you'd end up this resourceful. Oink. You have my thanks. Oink. But never mind that. We've got something big to worry about. Oink. Mellow Grunty's gone missing. Oink. You need to search for him at once. Oink. Mellow Grunty. You mean Moontree's Grunty? Hmm, I heard that Moontree headquarters had been closed down. Oh, poor thing. He must be so sad to have lost his home. Poor thing. He's just an NPC. Hazel? Adelie, where'd you come from? What? I've been here the whole time, haven't I? Don't stand in my blind spot, okay? Paseo, let's go find Mellow Grunty. I'm sure he just ran away because of the shock of Moontree getting closed down. NPCs run away? <sighs> it's no use. Once Adelie's gotten like this, she won't budge an inch. All right, all right. But where are we supposed to go look for him? Oh yes, Mellow Grunty left behind a message. Let's see now, it reads, I am at Sigma Universal Ocean's Glide. And no matter what, do not come looking for me. What? That's pretty much begging us to look. Okay then, let's head to Sigma Universal Ocean's Glide. I want to come too. Invite me and Adelie, alright? <laughs> 